So I thought it was time um, that we brought back the Vintage Vault. It's been a long time. Um, cast your mind back to the start of the pandemic when I was going slightly mad and just did like 200 YouTube videos a week. Um, but we did the Vintage Vault, go through some of the old six in the collection and I just thought there's a lot of things we've, we've never touched on in the Vintage Vault and now we're a little bit... Um, a little bit quieter uh, this period of the summertime in August, start of August, we're, we're definitely a little bit quieter. It'll ramp up again towards the end of this month for the start of the season here in the UK. But I thought, let's dip into the Vintage Vault and pull out some sticks we never touched on. So I've got one here, which um, back when I started, um, at, oh God, I think it was like 1990 I started, might have been 89, 1990 or 89. Um, there was a stick that I wanted and... Um, couldn't buy it at the time, this seems to be sold out everywhere. And uh, I ended up actually buying an STX high wall, which I do not regret because the high wall um, would have been a slightly sort of better stick than this, I feel. Um, but it's the Brian Shotgun. Now, I wanted a shotgun just because it had a cool name. The, the fact it said shotgun um, was kind of a little bit more appealing um, than the high wall. You'll have to excuse my raspy voice as well. I was sort of. Lots of shouting and coaching over the weekend in the tournament in, uh, in Tilburg. So uh, you have to excuse, excuse me if I might sound a little weird compared to normal. But um, the, the, the shotgun, um, it just has like, you know, a cool name. And uh, I managed to pick this one up. I don't know where this one came from now. I picked it up a couple of years ago. It's still got all its tags. Um, factory pancake for you. Thank God sticks don't come like this anymore. Um, there's a lot of well-strung factory sticks in the market. There's still some which um, are only marginally better than that. But on the whole, the factory stringing is better than it's been before. Um, most of the sticks we do at Normal Soul are custom strung sticks. But, you know, we do sell a few factory strung ones, uh, which are actually pretty decent factory strung sticks. Um, but as you can see, yeah, whoever strung these didn't um, know what the hell they were doing and didn't really care whether you caught the ball. Um, so you can understand, like, in the early years, um, how maybe a lot of people in Usual Across just gave up because of, because of that. But it's a complete lack of pocket. Um, I, I wish now I would, I'd kind of could go back in time and sort out the sticks on some of the, 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 uh, the pockets and some sticks of, of teammates of mine when they were kind of like 14, 15. Because, you know, if this is anything to go by, it's no wonder a few kids gave up. Um, it's never too late guys if you're watching this come on back you know we'll start an old man's team um, but the shotgun it's got um, leather top string some people are wondering why the hell they ever chose to use leather as a top string um, you wouldn't believe how hard it was like 30 plus years ago to get a piece of leather to replace your top string um, or even a piece of sidewall I was joking with a teammate on the weekend um, while I was playing for uh, Virginia Juice actually um, on tour, we, we would explain to one of the younger guys how you'd kind of save all these weird old bits of string. And um, I had hoodies that didn't have any drawstrings in because you needed a piece of string to fix your stick. Um, or shoes that only had one shoelace because you had to steal a shoelace to fix a stick. Um, and you just think, you, you guys are spoiled now. <laughs> your youngsters are spoiled. All this, all this string and, and an amazing mesh that's on the market. Um, but look at the shotgun. Um, had kind of a cool design here because it had these kind of ribs here to sort of strengthen it. Um, I don't know, it was probably aerodynamic as well. But the, the shotgun was kind of a little bit high wall looking, isn't it, from the side? Um, so it kind of directly competed against the high wall. And we're very lucky because this one's got all its tags still from... Um, I, I, it was kind of towards... I'm trying to think when this came out. I'm not too sure when it came out, but it was like towards the back end of the 80s, the shotgun came out. Um, I think its predecessor was the Magnum, if I remember rightly. Um, I'm going to say this is a slightly later shotgun um, because, A, I don't remember the early, early ones in the stores actually having that kind of hang tag. And on this one, it's actually got a guy wearing a cascade. So a Virginia player there. Uh, Tim Whiteley, obviously a poster boy at the time for Brian. And it says in here, it gives us some information on the shotgun. 
So it says, shotgun, ventilated ribs provide extra strength for stiffness and durability. So we've got the little ribs there. Um, shooting strings are placed so a ball does not come out, uh, does not come off the top of the plastic. All right, okay, well, shooting strings. Um, not sure that's a big selling point, is it? I think things have moved on a bit since. Um, high side walls allow for the maximum legal pocket depth and help keep the ball in the pocket. Um, you can clearly see how that, that stick is going to help keep the ball in the pocket. Um, it's just <laughs> shocking, isn't it? It makes you want to find the people that actually strung these sticks back in the 80s and 90s and just throttle them by the throat because they were absolutely turd. Um, but let's have a look here. Uh, available with a low maintenance mesh pocket for easy breaking, durability and weather resistance or with a traditional strung pocket for more advanced play. Now, um, it also says here, octagonal throat allows fit for uh, any, uh, any specialty lacrosse shaft. So the higher wall, the early higher walls actually have the round throat. So um, if you kind of like the design of the higher wall, I guess you might have lent towards the magnum a little bit more because it actually had the octagonal throat. Uh, meets all NCA approved specifications, a one year guarantee against breakage. Now, I'm going to come on to that, the one year guarantee, because back when I started, it was like a one year guarantee on heads. And it's shockingly, and I'm going to say this, and I find it shocking as a retailer and a player, some manufacturers have actually dropped their warranty to brace yourself because this is, this is awful. Some warranties are just 30 days. Can you believe that? The price that some of the, uh, the the manufacturers put on this equipment now, and it's a 30 day warranty. Oh my god, makes you want to slap them with the back of your hand, doesn't it? Yeah, 30 days is like a hundred dollars a head, and they want to some of the brands want to give you 30 days in a warranty. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you, SDX, I'm looking at you, 30 day warranty. Have a word with yourself. Um, but uh, the Magnum, you know. It was what it was. Yeah, it was an okay stick for its time. And uh, aren't you just glad that things moved on? Because it's funny when you look at this. I mean, it, it, you can tell it's a late one as well. I forgot to say about the graphics on the handle. But it's actually got fairly modern graphics here. So I'm guessing this was kind of like early millennium, this, when you could still actually buy straight sticks and they weren't offset. Weirdly, now you look at this, it's kind of slightly higher, isn't it? A slight angle up. For ground balls, for passing, I guess, but you know, just it's, it looks prehistoric now. You look at it, doesn't it? It really does. Um, yeah, things have moved on an awful lot, and I think anybody that kind of played back in, you know, um, there are guys out there that played in the 70s and 80s, but um, yeah, I, I started playing early 90s. When you look at the equipment I started with, and you look at the sticks that you, you play with now, it's dramatically different, it really, really is. Um, but it's kind of fun to look back at some of the old sticks in the vintage vault.